Hello everyone, I am Divya, your Math Facilitator. Today we shall discuss exercise 5.2 of class 10. Okay, so we have already started this exercise. We have discussed few questions in the earlier uh, class. So you can just watch that class. I'll just put it up here in the i button. Okay, so let's proceed. So we are going to start from first bit question number 7. Till question number 6 we have already discussed. Question number 7 is... We need to solve, okay, and find the roots of this particular quadratic equations given to us. The seventh bit is 3x square minus 5x plus 2 equal to 0. Okay, so as discussed earlier, we were taking splitting the middle term method or factorization method. Okay, so let us do the same method now. You will take the product of x square coefficient and constant. x square coefficient is 3, constant is 2, so the product is 6. Now 6 you can split it as 3, 2 is 6 and my middle term is minus 5. That means I can take minus 3 and minus 2 combination. Minus 3 minus 2 gives me minus 5. Minus 3 into minus 2 will give me 6. Okay, so the combination which I am going to take are minus 3x and minus 2x and I have a plus 2 equal to 0. Okay, so this 5x we are splitting it as minus 3x and minus 2x. Now from these two let us take 3x common. So I have x minus 1 here. And from these two I can take minus 2 common. So I will have x minus 1 again that is equal to 0. Again from these two terms you can see x minus 1 is common. So you will have 3x minus 2 equal to 0. So you can equate x minus 1 to 0. So you will have x equals to 1. Or you can take 3x minus 2 equal to 0. So you will have x is equals to 3x is equal to 2 or x equal to 2 divided by 3. Okay, the calculations are simple and easy. So, I am just, you know, explaining it a little fast. So, the next one, 8th bit, x minus 3 upon x is equal to 2. Okay, so here, firstly, this is not in the general form. We have to convert it into the general form. What is the general form? ax square plus bx plus c equal to 0 is the general form. So, let's convert it. So, see here, beta, you can take LCM. So, here x by 1, you have taken LCM, LCM will be x. And here I have to multiply with x and here also with x. So, x into x will be x square minus 3 that is equal to 2. Now, just transpose this x to the other side. So, we will have x square minus 3 is equal to 2 into x is 2x. Now, let us bring this 2x to the other side. So, I will have x square minus 2x plus 2x bringing it to LHS transposing it to LHS it is minus 2x minus 3 equal to 0. Now, this is in the general form take the product of x square coefficient is 1 constant is minus 3. So, the answer is minus 3. So, factors of minus 3 I can write 1 and 3. So, I need minus 2 as my middle term. So, I can take plus 1 minus 3. Okay, 1. Plus 1 minus 3 will give me minus 2 and plus 1 into plus 1 into minus 3 will give me minus 3. Okay, so it is satisfying. So, let us write it here now. So, x square this minus 2x I can write it as minus 3x plus x minus 3 equal to 0. Now, again from these two terms x I can take common. So, x minus 3 is remaining. From these two terms nothing is common. So, when nothing is common you can take 1 as common. So, x minus 3 is remaining. Now, again from these two terms, x minus 3, you can take common. So, x plus 1 is remaining, that is equal to 0. So, you can write x minus 3 is 0 or x is equals to 3. Or you can take x plus 1 is 0 or x equals to minus 1. Clear, beta? The next question. The next question is 9 to 1. It is 3 into x minus 4 whole square. Minus 5 into x minus 4 is equal to 12. This is again it is not in the general form. Let's firstly convert it into general form or there is one more procedure. You can just take here you see x minus 4 whole square and you have x minus 4. So if I take x minus 4 is equal to a. I am just taking x minus 4 is equal to a. So substitute here so you get 3a square minus 5a is equal to 12. Now, this is in the general form. Have a look here. So, 3a square minus 5a minus 12 equal to 0. It's in the general form. So, now you can take the product of 
Here a square coefficient and the constant. So 3 into minus 12. So I'll get minus 36. So 36 I can write as 9. 4 is 36. And 9 and 4 combination will give me minus 5. So I can take minus 9 and 4. Minus 9 plus 4 is minus 5. So I'm writing here. So 3a square minus 9a plus 4a minus 12 equal to 0. Now from these two I can take 3a common. So I'll have a minus 9. 3, 3 is a 9. So one more 3 I have here plus. From these two I can take 4 common. So a minus 4, 3 is a 12. Okay. So a minus 3 is common again. So I'll have 3a plus 4 equal to 0. So I can take a minus 3 is 0 or a is equal to 3 or I can write 3a plus 4 equal to 0. So a is equal to what beta? So here I can write, let me write it here. So from this I can write 3a is equal to minus 4 or a is equal to minus 4 by 3. So two values you got. One is a equal to 3 and one is a equal to minus 4 by 3. But do you want a value? What is that actually you want? You want x value, isn't it? But you know x minus 4, you have taken it as a, right? So if you substitute a is equal to 3, what happens see here? So you got a two values, a equal to 3 and a equal to minus 4 by 3. So let us substitute these values and see what is the x value you are getting. So if you are taking a is equal to 3, you will get, see here, x minus 4 is equal to 3. So x equal to 7, you will get. If you are taking a equal to minus 4 by 3, Okay, so x minus 4 is equal to a. So x minus 4 equal to a is minus 4 by 3. So x is equal to minus 4 by 3. This minus 4 transposing it to other side becomes plus 4. So it is minus 4 plus 12 upon 3. So you will have 8 upon 3. Okay, so x values are 7 upon 3 and 8 upon 3. Okay, so whenever you find a question like this where you have x minus 4 whole square x minus 4. So something very common. So you can take this entire thing as a. Okay, this entire thing as a. So it will be a square minus 5a. Now it is a quadratic equation again. So you can solve it. Right, better. And then whatever answer you are getting this again you will take and substitute here. And you will get the actual x value. Clear? So let's proceed but before going to the next question let me tell you I have very important announcement for you. So I am taking free class on an academy okay on Sunday 29th August 10 a.m. Right so you can join this class. This class is specifically you know I am concentrating on solvability of linear equations which is a really important concept. Let it be in a board examination point of view or your competitive level exams also solvability of linear equation is very important. So I am going to take quiz session, complete polling session. So you will have leaderboards and top top uh, learners will receive certificates. So don't forget to attend this session. It's a completely free session. Okay, it's a completely free session. You can attend it. All you need to do is I will give you the link of the free session in the description box. So just click on that link. Okay, so a page like this will open. So you will have to just enroll. You will find a green color enroll button. Click on that. So it will ask you a code. The code you will enter is DMM. Enter this code and enroll to the free class. And let's have very important questions discussed on Sunday 10 a.m. Right? So I'll be waiting for you in the free class. Don't forget to join it. And there are also new badges coming up in an academy. So you have one batch Let's Crack NCRT Science starting from 23rd August. Focus term 1 batch for Max and Science starting from 23rd August. You can join all these batches using the code DMM. You will get a 10% discount. And there is one more batch term 1 victory batch for all the subjects. And there is one more term 1 victory batch for all the subjects with the different educators. Okay, so here... The people, the educators teaching you math, science, SST are different and here they are different. So you can join both, no problem. And here you have max wizard batch for your Adi Sharma exemplar. You can join it. It is starting from 30th August. You have one more dog clearing batch starting from 30th August. You can join it for max and science. So you can join unlimited classes with one single subscription. You can go for a plus or iconic subscription. With one single subscription, you can Enjoy unlimited classes, unlimited practice from the top educators. Okay. And you have offers right now if you are going for a one month, one year or 18 month subscription. Two months is free and two months creative corner is free. And this offer is extended right now. So even by this weekend you can purchase so that you can avail this offer. 
if you are going for a two year, three year, yeah, four year subscription, four month subscription is free and creative corner is free. In creative corner, they teach you Vedic max, magic tricks, personality real development skills, body language skills, English speaking skills. So, so many things they will be uh, teaching you. So, it's an added advantage for you. Now, let me tell you the prices. The prices, if you are taking a one year subscription, okay, you will have to pay twelve fifty per month. If you use the code DMM, you'll get a ten percent discount. So you will have to pay only one one two five per month. And on this again, two months free subscription, you'll get creative honor. You'll get where you can learn many more things. So hurry up, do take the subscription at the earliest. In one thousand rupees, you'll get unlimited classes and tests. And also don't forget to join the free class. And there is also one more important information. So if you are taking a one year class ten subscription, you will get free IIT. Need foundation coaching and NTSC subscription for free. Okay, it's a limited offer from 11th August to 31st August. Only the students who take the subscription from 11th to 31st August will get this offer. Okay, so in an offline teaching, you'll have more prices, but here we are giving you at a very less price, right? So do avail it. Next question: Find two numbers whose so sum is 27 and product is 182. So now, in the previous first bit. They gave you the quadratic equation directly, and they were asking you to find the roots. But here, these are statement problems where you have to read the statement, analyze it, understand it, and you have to make a mathematical statement by yourself and then solve it. Okay, you have to make the equation and then solve it. So have a look here. You need to find two numbers. Okay, so let us take one number as x. Let the one number is x. Okay. Now two numbers sum is twenty seven. Okay, if the two numbers are one is x and one is y, the sum of these two numbers is how much twenty seven. Okay, the sum of the two numbers is twenty seven. It is given to you. So that means y can you write y is twenty seven minus x. So if one number is x, the other number, other number, if I am taking it as y, so can you write as twenty seven minus x? From this, did you understand? Okay, so now. And the product is one eighty two. Product means multiplying both the numbers. The answer you get. Okay, now product is how much? Product is nothing but one eighty two. Multiplying x and twenty seven minus x, I'm getting one eighty two. Here you got your equation. So it is nothing but twenty seven x minus x square. X into twenty seven is twenty seven x minus x into x is x square is equals to one eighty two. Let us take all the terms to one side. So I'll have x square minus twenty seven x plus one eighty two equal to zero. I have taken minus x square and twenty seven x to RHS. Okay. So now you have to factorize this. So see, you have one into One eighty two. One into one eighty two is one eighty two. Now one eighty two. If you split it into factors, you can write it as thirteen fourteen is our one eighty two. Thirteen fourteen is our one eighty two, and thirteen plus fourteen gives you twenty seven. But you want minus twenty seven, so let us take minus thirteen and minus fourteen. Okay, so I'll write it here. So you have x square minus twenty seven x plus one eighty two equal to zero. So x square minus this I can write it as thirteen x minus fourteen x plus one eighty two equal to zero. So from these two I can take x common, so I have x minus thirteen. From these two I can take minus fourteen common, so I have x minus. I told you in the previous class also if you take minus common, this sign changes. This plus becomes minus. Minus thirteen equal to zero. Okay, fourteen thirteen is one eighty two. Again, x minus thirteen is common, so x minus fourteen equal to zero. So you'll have x equal to thirteen or x equal to fourteen, right? So if x equal to thirteen, then the numbers, then the numbers are. If x is thirteen, the other number is what better? The other number is twenty-seven minus x, so it will be twenty-seven minus thirteen. So this will be fourteen. Okay, if x is If x is fourteen, the other number will be twenty-seven minus x is twenty-seven minus fourteen. The other number will be thirteen. So the numbers are what? The numbers are thirteen and fourteen. Okay, thirteen and fourteen. So now then, let's proceed to the next question. Find two consecutive positive integers, sum of whose squares is six hundred and thirteen. Okay, so it is given that 
sum of the squares of the integers is 613. So let us take, let the positive integer, I am taking it as x. Now they are asking you consecutive. Consecutive means the very next. Okay, Pakandre, the very next. So consecutive integer, how will you get? Consecutive integer is nothing but x plus 1. Okay, the very next one. If you add 1 to this number, you will get the next number. Right? So it is x plus 1. Now what is given? They are saying the squares, the sum of the squares. Now they are saying if you square them, Okay, that means if you square x, okay, this number if I am squaring it is x square. And this number x plus 1 if I am squaring it is x plus 1 whole square. Now sum of the squares, matlab, if you are adding these two numbers, okay, if you are taking x, squaring it, if you are taking the next number x plus 1 whole square, squaring it, okay, and adding both of them, the answer you get is 613. That is the mathematical statement. So now just expand this, this is a plus b whole square. A square plus B square plus 2AB is equal to 613. X square plus X square is 2X square plus 2X. The 613, let us bring it to this side. So, it, you will have plus 1 minus 613 equal to 0. So, 2X square plus 2X minus 612 equal to 0. Or, or we can write this as x square c2 I can take common. So x square plus x minus if I take 2 common here I will have 3 not 6 equal to 0. So x square plus x minus 3 not 6 equal to 0 divided by 2 is 0. Okay till here did you all understand? Now I have see 3 not 6 1 into minus 3 not 6 is minus 3 not 6. Minus 3 not 6 I can split it as 18 7 up. Okay, I can split it as 18, 7 up. So, this is x square plus 18x minus 17x will give me plus x. Okay, minus 3 not 6 equal to 0. Since we have discussed factorization method very clearly, so I am I'm just, you know, uh, going in the flow. So, from these two, x is common. So, x plus 18 I can take common. And from these two, minus 17 you can take common. So, x plus 18 you will have again. So, again x plus 18 you can take common. So, x minus 17 you will have. So, you can take x plus 18 equal to 0. So, you will get x as minus 18. Or you can take x minus 17 equal to 0. So, you will get x as 17. But see in the question they mentioned. They are positive integers. What are they? They are positive integers. So, since they are positive integers. Can you take x equal to minus 18? No. So, therefore, x equal to minus 18 cannot be considered. You cannot consider x equals to minus 18 because it is given that x should be a positive integer. It has to be a positive integer. Okay. So, therefore, you will take x as, therefore, you will take x as 17. So, if x is 17, other number is what? Other number is nothing but x plus 1. So, it will be 17 plus 1, it will be 18 now. Clear? So, one number is 17, the other number is 18. So, I hope these questions are very clear for you. So, I will discuss from question number 4, okay, in the very next class, right. So, do join the free classes also and do utilize all the sources with you, right. And if, if you have understood the explanation and if you are liking and it and if you want more classes like this, don't forget to comment and let me know so that I'll, I'll, I'll know your need and according to your need and requirement, I'll make classes for you, right? So, don't forget to like the video also and if you're new to the channel, don't forget to subscribe it. Thanks for watching. Take care.